No way. That's great. We landed on the moon! In Doctor Strangelove, the scene where General Turgidson trips and falls in the war room and then gets back up and resumes talking as if nothing happened really was an accident. Director Stanley Kubrick mistakenly thought that it was George Scott really in character, so he left it in the film. The president were wasting valuable time. Look at the big boy. They're getting ready to clobber us. In Fight Club, Edward and Brad didn't know they were being filmed while hitting golf balls. They had just wrapped filming a few hours before and decided to get drunk. Director David Fincher just turned the camera on them, and it became an iconic scene. Neither Edward nor Brad knew it was in the final cut until the premiere. Tom Cruise's fall, running out of an office at the end of Collateral, was not intentional, and director Michael Mann chose to leave it in. The scene in Spaceballs where Dark Helmet plays with dolls wasn't in the script. The idea occurred to Mel Brooks on set, and Rick Moranis improvised the whole thing. Yes! No! No! Yes! No! Oh! 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 Your helmet is so big! The scene where Alan Tudyk's character slaps Diego in Star Wars Rogue One wasn't scripted, and you can see a hint of a smile on Diego's face as he laughs at it. He is taking us to the quiet. In Liar Liar, Jim Carrey makes a cameo in his own movie as Fire Marshal Bill, a character he invented when he was on the show In Living Color. The two guys around him are seriously struggling to keep it together. In Shutter Island, inmate Bridget Kearns asks for a glass of water. When she drinks it, there is no cup in her hand. She also fake drinks with her right hand and sets a glass down with her left. In the opening scene of Way of the Gun, Ryan Philippe unintentionally knocked out Sarah Silverman when he accidentally leaned in too far while delivering a punch. You wanna do the man dance? First dance is yours. <laughs> In Alien Resurrection, Sigourney Weaver makes a perfect basketball shot over her shoulder without looking. There's no trickery or CGI involved. She actually did it. Ron Perlman nearly screwed up the shot by celebrating out of character. That's why the shot cuts as soon as the ball goes through. In Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, in the Mordor scene, whenever Sean Bean looks down, it's because he is reading the script on his lap. They had written that speech the night prior to shooting, and he didn't have time to memorize it. One does not simply walk into Mordor. In Gangs of New York, you can see the foam rubber meat cleaver bounce off of Monk's back and land on the ground behind him. This is still pretty good considering it was 1863. In Ghostbusters, the actress playing the maid was genuinely scared by the exploding cart. She even ad-libbed the line, what the hell are you doing? In 1917, during the climactic scene near the end, where the main character is running across the battlefield with the 2nd Battalion's attack underway, George McKay was told, keep running, no matter what. The clashes with other soldiers were entirely accidental, and the cost of explosions was too expensive, so the actor decided to keep moving forward until the scene was over. In The Martian, there's a scene where Rich Purnell, played by Donald Glover, leaves his office to get more coffee, he slips and falls on the way out. Well, it wasn't in the script. Glover actually fell, and it turned out so good that they had to keep it in the movie. Are you all right? It's fine. At the end of Terminator 2, Arnold Schwarzenegger mistakenly thought the scene was over and pointed his thumbs up as he lowered himself into the molten metal. The director liked this gesture, and the scene was included in the film. In the movie Phone Booth, the character Stu played by Colin Farrell was talking on the phone when a prostitute named Felicia wanted him to get off the phone. Pick back for the next bitch take my score. Oh, go away. Go away, hang up the fucking phone, nigga. The N-word was not in the script, and Colin Farrell's reaction was genuine, so director Joel Schumacher decided to keep it in the movie. Oh, go away. Go away, hang up the fucking phone, nigga. You don't eyeball me. In The French Connection, during a chase scene, Gene Hackman's car is T-boned by another car. That was not supposed to happen. The chase sequence was filmed without obtaining permits from the city. 
featured many close calls with drivers and pedestrians who weren't part of the film. In The Departed, when Jack Nicholson is talking about a rat with DiCaprio in the restaurant, Nicholson pulled an actual gun on DiCaprio, and no one knew he was going to. Jim Carrey ad-libbed a ton of the funniest lines in Dumb and Dumber. For example, he didn't originally have a line when he was leaving the hotel bar, but he improvised by looking at the framed 1969 newspaper and saying, We landed on the moon! In The Dark Knight, Joker is constantly licking his lips. This is actually because of the prosthetic scars that Heath Ledger wore. They kept falling off, so Heath would lick his lips to keep them in place. Gradually, it became a part of the Joker's character. It was one of those details that really added to his character seeming crazy, and it's weird that it wasn't intentionally done. Why so serious? In Cool Cat Saves the Kids, some poor innocent soul walks into the shot and promptly excuses himself after seeing some dude's fursona explaining to kids why bullying is bad. For the shot in Die Hard where Hans Gruber falls from the top of the building, Alan Rickman was dropped by a stuntman on the count of one instead of three to get the right reaction. Rickman said, it was the last shot, so if I'd broken my neck, they'd still have a movie. While filming Half Nelson, Ryan Gosling found a random cat on set, and they kept the scene where he picks it up. It worked well because his character had lost a cat earlier. You ain't bringing that shit in my house, man. Put that cat down. During the drive-in scene in The Outsiders, when Matt Dillon falls off the chair, it was a complete accident. And you can catch Thomas Howell looking at the camera, expecting a cut to be called. <laughs> In The Dreamers, the scene where Eva Green's hair catches fire was not scripted. The actress acted so naturally that the director decided to leave it in. In the movie Passengers, there's a part where Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt, dressed in spacesuits, are supposed to kiss after walking in space. While filming, their spacesuits got in the way, and they started laughing. Even though it made the scene less romantic, the director decided to keep it in the movie. At the end of The Martian, Matt Damon's breakdown wasn't in the script. For months, Damon had been shooting scenes without other actors. Without informing him beforehand, director Ridley Scott piped in audio from the other actors playing his astronaut team, leading Damon to improvise his breakdown in the moment. I'm good. I'm anxious to get up to you. Thanks for coming back for me. In one scene in Star Wars A New Hope, Han and Luke steal suits of Stormtrooper armor. As Luke is walking out of the room, he says, I can't see a thing in this helmet. While working on the scene, Mark Hamill didn't know the cameras were rolling and complained to Harrison Ford. When the filmmakers saw the take, they decided to leave the line in the movie. I can't see a thing in this helmet. In another scene from Spaceballs, Dark Helmet is drinking from a styrofoam cup because crew members would leave them around the set. So Mel Brooks decided to just make them a part of the universe. <laughs> 